So in this video, we will be doing the LIFO method for inventory. So what LIFO means is last in, first out. So we are going to start with the last inventory that you bought and that's what we are going to sell off first so let's get into it so you'll usually have a table like this when you are going to record your inventory you will have a column for your date and let's call this the issue and then let's call this the let's call this the receipt and issue column and then we will have your balance column so this will just make things way easier to explain so let's start off and let's assume that this is January okay this is January 2024 so company XYZ started the year with an inventory of 500 units at a cost of $10 per unit so on the 1st of January when we're starting off the year our balance is 500 units at ten dollars per unit and that gives us five thousand all right that is our balance that's how much inventory we have so on the first of January again we purchased all right we purchased 400 units at twelve dollars 400 units at twelve dollars and this gives us 400 times 12 four thousand eight hundred dollars and then our balance is 400 at 12 is equal to 4,800. So what this means is we have 400 units which cost $12 and then we also have uh, a bunch of $500 units which cost us $10. So this is inventory, how much our inventory is valued at. And this will help us when we are going to calculate our cost of goods sold and also our closing balance for our inventory all right so on the second all right we sold 300 units so we've sold 300 units yes but now since we have two prices over here we need to know at which price are we going to price the 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 the, the issuing when we are selling it at what value are we selling it at and we are going to take the last in first out so the last in was the 400 which was at 12 dollars so we have to sell these 300 dollars at 12 dollars and that is going to cost us 3600 so this is how it goes you always start off pr you use the amount the price that you used for the last goods that you sold last in first out so what our balance will be now is going to be the our balance will be now 500 at ten dollars and now a hundred at twelve because now we sold off 300 units so 112 will give us 1200 all right so then we go off to the third one on the 3rd of january we purchased 200 units at 14 dollars per unit so 200 units at 14 dollars per unit and that gives us 200 times 14 2800 dollars that's the valuation Okay, I hope that too makes a difference. All right, so then our balance now is 200 at 14 is equal to 2,800. All right, then we go on to the next page. I don't think it's going to fit here now. We are selling 250 units. All right, so when we sell these 250 units on the 4th of January, sold 250 units, we start with the last one. Okay, and what did we buy last? We bought last the 200 units at $14. So we are going to issue out the 200 at 14 
at $2,800. And now we have 50 left because we are selling 250 units. And then the 50 units we are gonna use from the 100 because that was the second last one, okay? And we depleted the whole 200. So what's left, we have to deduct from the 100 at $12. You use exactly the same amount. So 50 at $12 is 600 there we go and then next off we will just do the same let's have our table here with the date receipt issue and then our balance Okay, so when we go back, our balance is, what what we will have left is $510, okay, we we'll still have the $510, which is $5,000, and then we will have now 50, 50 left at $12. Which is $600. All right, so next we purchased 320 units. Let me change the color at $16. We purchased 320 units at $16 per unit. 320 units. We purchased 320 units at $16 per unit for Total is 5,120. Okay, we have that down, and this was on the 5th of January. Okay, so next on the 6th of January, we sold 480 units. All right, so what we do is last in, first out. This was the last we bought okay so it's 480 units so we we can't we don't have 480 the maximum is 320 all right at 16 at 5120 all right so then we are selling 480 so what's left because we sold 480 and now we have to purchase 160 left we take 160 and where are we taking that from then you look at your balance, you have 50 left, right? So the maximum of that 50, it, it, that's the only one you can sell. So you just have to take out 50 at, at $12. And remember, 480 is what you're selling. So you need to make sure that all you sell will reach this amount and you take out the maximum, right? So we took out 50. Now how much more do we need to take out from the 500? Because we only need 480. So you will say 480 minus 320 minus the 50s, meaning you're going to take 110 at $10. That's 1,100. All right. And then what balance do we have? The balance now that we have, let's put that in black. Since we took out 110 from the 500, so we say 500 minus 110, that will be 390, all right, at 10. 3,900 is our balance, all right. And what we sold here, that's our, our cost. So what is our cost of goods sold now? for all for the for the month of January so let's calculate our cost of goods sold for the month of January cost of goods sold for the month of January so what we have to do we have to add all these totals here so we say 3600 plus 2800 if that's correct is it 200 times 14 Yes, so we say 3,600 plus 2,800 plus 600. Cost of the goods sold, right? Plus 600 plus 5,120. We take these totals again. 
plus 600 plus 1100 and our cost of goods sold is going to be 13,820 and then let's look at our closing balance closing balance is your total here that we calculated all right 3900 so the whole concept of first last in first out you always have to take out the one that you bought last all right i hope this video really helps and i hope that it made a lot of sense